and welcome to the Booktubeathon day one vlog. I asked you guys on Twitter if you'd want me to vlog this whole week and the majority of you said yes. I said that. I don't know how much like vlogging and reading is actually going to get done because I work from 7.45 to 4.15 every night and usually by the time I get home I'm like exhausted and just want to go to sleep so I don't know how long these vlogs are gonna last or how high quality they're gonna be which like my vlogs are never high quality but you know what I mean it's currently 626 so I guess you guys should get like a reading update right now I finished Ventress by Betsy Cornwell which I'm using for my person on the cover challenge so that is completed and I actually really liked this book. It's the second in a series. The first book is called Mechanica and I gave them both 4.5 out of 5 stars but exciting news about this book is that it comes out August 1st and the publisher actually asked me to do a giveaway on my channel for the whole series so you'll get a copy of Mechanica and Ventress so come back on August 1st to enter my giveaway which is super exciting. So I'm currently editing the video announcing like the giveaway and like my review for the series so come back August 1st for that video and a chance to enter to win both of the books in the series. I'm not 100% sure how much like reading I'm actually gonna get done today because I have to finish editing this video and then I also am needing to eat dinner and then I'm supposed to see Ricardo tonight but I don't know when that is happening. It's sometime after 8, so I might get like a couple chapters done, but I will keep you updated. We're at m, &M. What are we getting? Meat. No, we're getting lasagna and three cheese pasta bake and sesame chicken noodles because Pivot needs food for camp. Pivot needs food for camp? Yes, this is about me. It's all about you. Always. All about you. All about you. Food in the world. Oh, Which really means mom's gonna make me dinner when we get home from work. Which really means mom makes you dinner all the time. Not all the time. 99.9% of the time, but I still do it. Every time is when you go out for dinner. Yeah. It's raining outside, so the challenge of read a book outside is not happening tonight because it's it's rainy and gross. What are the other challenges for today? There's seven challenges. Okay. If you had watched my TBR video, maybe you would know the challenges. I did. Nice. I just got off work, and now we're gonna bring my cousin cupcakes because it was his birthday on last Monday. We got him Star Wars cupcakes because, you know, he's 15, and, you know, who doesn't like Star Wars cupcakes? It was either that or bright pink princess ones. Which he so, might not appreciate anyway. I mean, we figured he might like Star Wars better. So we're gonna go do that, and then I'm gonna shower, and then I'm gonna read, hopefully, maybe. But I'm also supposed to go out with Ricardo, so who okay. knows how much reading's gonna get done. I do any reading with Ricardo. Hey, he's illiterate, leave him alone. How do you spell illiterate? I-L-L-E-R-A-T-E. -E. That's wrong. <laughs> maybe you guys will meet Ricardo, but probably not, because he's in a bad mood because his work sucks, apparently. So we'll see how that goes. I think you should do it anyway. Hey guys, so little update on my reading right now. It's currently 8.18 p.m. and I'm just waiting for Ricardo to come pick me up. I read like 20 pages of The Art of Starving by Sam J. Miller and I'm actually really loving it so far. It's basically about a boy who has anorexia and his sister goes missing and it's kind of like the story of him trying to find his sister but also battling this disease. And like loving it, but only 20 pages in, so like I might end up hating it. But probably not going to get any more reading done tonight because I'm going out with Ricardo. Don't know if he's going to be in a good enough mood to be on film or not. We shall see. I don't know. He had a rough day at work, so we'll see what his mood is. And then you guys might meet Ricardo, so that's exciting. Say hello. This is the best thing I've had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we already started it. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I am Ricardo and I like burrito. I like you. You like me? <laughs> Anything else? Sometimes. Sometimes? It's all the time. I'm offended. Okay. Sometimes, 100% of the time. How sweet. I'm just gonna keep filming you until you do something exciting. Tell us about yourself. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> I like music. I'm about to buy a car. Okay, you've said that for the past like three months. <laughs> Quiet, it's gonna happen. About to is a very broad, broad statement. Uh-huh. What else? Um, we'll have burritos. <laughs> Sushi's still better though. Mm -hmm. It's a runner up. A runner up? Yep. But like if I had to pick between eating burritos for the rest of my life and sushi for the rest of my life, I feel like I'd get sick of sushi and never get sick of burritos. Okay, but you're wrong. Like we're all entitled to our opinion. That's but fine. like well, that's yours my, is wrong. My, my <laughs> that's your debut. This is to get you fans. You're in competition with my mom. Your mom? Yeah, my mom's a big hate on it. Can't compete with your mom. <laughs> Great lady. It's your mom. <laughs> yeah, but they're not she's not like their mom. So like why can't you compete with her? This is your mom. Also, I really like the like saliva. There. Is that real? Yeah. <laughs> See if I kill it <laughs> I'm keeping it in. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say to the lovely viewers? I'm a fat kid at heart. <laughs> it's probably the most accurate statement I've ever made about myself. Dude, this is something exciting. But all you're doing is eating. I love my burrito. <laughs> say goodbye then. <laughs> okay, but like, you're done. And like, I'm not even halfway through. <laughs> And you're cute. They're gonna love you. <laughs> okay, but like it's been like literally five minutes and you're done. Is that like a new record? <sighs> That's not a record? God, no. I feel like it usually takes you longer. I was hungry. Didn't you eat? Oh no, I ate. You probably didn't. I did. But it was like, actually no, I ate twice today. You ate twice yeah, today? Yeah, I ate two subs today. And have breakfast too. How are you still hungry? I was just a machine today. I was eating everything. Uh, that's why you're fat. Don't be fat. I think you're coming in. Can I see how my nose? Is that the way to decrease the double chin? <laughs> I tried to film the like challenge for tonight like today it was like a book monster thing but it was like so blurry because of the rain it wouldn't focus on my body and face so why did it be the rain because oh, it was raining sun? no it was raining outside and so it made the room like super dark oh, okay so it wouldn't like focus on me so the footage was like super blurry and i was like no no challenge today maybe tomorrow we'll see what's tomorrow's challenge it, it comes out at 12 a.m oh okay so we have to see at 12 a.m. It is currently 10.37. You're not going to be awake that No, long. I'm going to bed. Say bye again. Good night. That's a nice angle. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the end of Booktube-a-thon day one. Not a whole bunch of reading got done. Hopefully tomorrow a little bit more reading will get done, but probably not because Ricardo's off tomorrow, which is pretty much the only time that I'll be able to see him. I get off work at 6.15 tomorrow, so I'm probably just going to like head over and see him so you'll see a lot more of him in the vlog tomorrow but I don't think a lot of reading will be done tomorrow but we shall see when the time comes I will see you all in my next video goodbye